Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Coldwell Banker and the Roundtown team for Hero of the Month. Our Hero of the Month this month is the new rec center here in Noontown. And I'm here with the executive director, Matt. How are you, man? Thanks for having me, I appreciate you Andy. joining me. And we were just talking a little bit. And you know, first off, I want to say, I, I think your demeanor and your enthusiasm capture what we all hoped this site would be. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Um, you've been with us now for the rec center before it even existed, before it was just being built. They brought you on to kind of build excitement and help manage the process. And it's beautiful. If you haven't been here, it's on the Fairfield Hills campus, right next to the NYA. Come down and check it out. But Matt, uh, we were kind of talking about some of the services and some of the events and the membership. Tell me a little bit, give me an overview of some of the services that we're offering now, and maybe some ones that are even most popular, and maybe some things that people don't even know about. Right. So our uh including our amenities are not only the pools okay so everybody thinks of us we're more than just a pool we're more than just a pool okay. right. but the pool's so, pretty awesome by the, the way pool I mean, is awesome. like little kids splash pad lap lanes swim lessons yeah. I mean, so in addition to our six lane lap pool the therapy pool and the um, recreational pool um, we have a full service art studio um, which has a kiln where we offer um, after school art programs and adult art programs as well and, and, and those programs, especially the after school ones, and I didn't know this, is you guys are busing from the elementary schools here after school on those days. We are, four days a week. Um, we have um, buses that run um, from all the elementary schools to the campus. How many kids are registered right now? 40 kids. That's um, great. In those after For school such programs. a new program. And it just started last session. That, so it was in one eight week session. That's pretty 40 cool. Kids. We're that's excited great. about the growth of those programs. So art, arts, art for adult education and youth. And youth programming. And what else is going on here? Sure, so we also have um, a wide variety of health and wellness programs. Um, so we're a little different than your normal gym. Um, these programs work on um, strengthening your well-being. So we have a program called MELT, which um, focuses on um, flexibility, um, uh, not only your flexibility, but your mental state. Um, we also run um, Tai Chi, belly dancing. Um, different types of dance classes that you don't see at your normal gym. If you take belly dance, he'll come with you. Okay. Okay. Deal. Let me know if that happens. Right? <laughs> we also have the largest rental space in town, um, so our space really complements and full, the and full kitchen also. So full commercial. What kind kitchen. of events have been hosted here so far? Sure. So we've hosted the um, scholarship association gala. We are hosting the um, chamber of commerce Mardi Gras event awesome. uh, next week. Um, we hosted the Catherine Violet Hubbard um, Animal Sanctuary workshops in our multi-purpose space. So um, the capacity of that space is 250 people seated. If by far the biggest space we have for that type of event in town, um, aside from, uh, which was much smaller over the town hall. Right, So the that's, that's the Alexandrian, which is wonderful. And I think the best stat, which is really, I think it's proof that the town has embraced this space. Because there was some contention that was being built and how should it be, who should be focused upon and how should it be used. And the town, I think, through a lot of trials and tribulations came to the idea, and correct me if I'm wrong, that. It should be for everybody. Right. And, and to prove that point, we were walking down the hall. What was the goal at this point for members? The was goal it, was about 1,000 members at this point. And January. right now we have? And we are about 4,500 members. 4,500 with a goal of 1,000. Right. So, um, you know, when we were going through our mission statement, our, our whole goal was to be multi generational. And it's so great when um, you walk in in the morning and you see senior aqua size, and then you have the kids coming off the bus in yeah. the afternoon. I really think you know, we hit that point of having something for everyone. It's my, my impression, and my kids are doing the swim lessons now, and my, my impression is that the rec center is taking on what the residents of Newtown believe Newtown is all about. It's inclusive and it's kindness. Right. And, and that's the feeling you get here, it really is. And, and I think to bring that home, tell us a little bit about, and you might remember one of our Hero Around Town interviews and articles with Mandy Monaco. Um, tell us about the Cafe. Sure. So our Better Day Cafe, which is located in our lobby, is staffed by the Transitions Program at the high school. So students who are 18 to 21 um, that have aged out of the high school program mm -hmm. but are still eligible to be in high school, um, who have met all the academic requirements. Um, these students come Monday through Friday to the center and they run our cafe for us from um, top to bottom. These students get to learn um, cooking and culinary skills to day-to-day -day operations, um, counting uh, money interacting with the public. It's so great to see them um, be at a job site where they get to interact with people yeah. in their own community. And they're um, pumped. These they two. are. They love it. Um, I just received an email from a parent today whose child is aging out of the program and um, they are um, 
you know, hoping that the child can stay in the program, you know, volunteering on nights or weekends. Sure. And that's something we're looking to grow, cool. um, working with Ability Beyond and other um, institutions on um, keeping that program staffed. It's awesome. It's awesome. Matt, is there anything else you want to share with us about the rec center that the, the town and the community should know? Sure. Well, if you haven't been uh, down to the center, please come on down. We'll give you a tour. Um, we um, offer swimming lessons and water aerobics um, in addition to our open swim time. Yep. You know, a couple of classes that I've already mentioned. Um, one thing we didn't touch upon is birthday parties. So oh. we offer a slew of birthday parties, swimming birthday parties, um, yoga, art parties, um, which is very, very popular, especially in the winter. I bet. Since there's a lack of sites. Um, but definitely come on down. Um, and check out the center. Awesome, man. Matt, thank you, sir. Thank you, Appreciate Andy. your time. Andy Sachs, Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team. Our hero for the month of, this one will be March, is the rec center. Come check it out.